Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another part of the Blood Corner here. I'm your host, Mike Mo. I'm just going to come back to this side of the room. Uh, I'm your host, Mike Mo, here for another vlog. Uh, here on a, um, here on a Wednesday night, about 11.15. Um, going to hear, be here about maybe five minutes. Uh, sorry, I didn't record one yesterday. It's just... One of those things. Didn't have a lot to talk about, so didn't decide. To, I decided not to record yesterday, um, because it was just the same old workday recovery stuff and everything. So I didn't want to bore you guys with that, and I don't want to bore anybody with that because it does get boring. Because got to change my game a little bit, other than shooting vlogs. So yeah. So yeah, today. Actually, today went, went super well, actually. We actually got to, we actually finally got to dare for the first time in, like, ever. So, am I actually proud of that milestone? Yeah. It's a little, it's a little, um, it's a little, um, underwhelming since we should have been doing this ages ago, but we only have a small team, but I'm thinking <sighs> we're finally progressing good, and that's because we have... We have a good quality, small quality team, but we're going to need to make uh, the team a little bit bigger. Um, hopefully they do that when I, if and when I do leave. So, um, uh, so yeah, everything was good today, actually. Everything was good. There were some minor things here and there, but all in all, we got through the day and we actually got to one dairy pallet. So, uh, hopefully we finish that tomorrow and do a bunch of miscellaneous things because i'm until like five tomorrow um and then friday um i'm not on it i'm not in and then saturday i'm probably gonna help them recover whatever they lost so yeah um so yeah everything was good today and um thought i deviate a little bit and i i usually talk about just work and work in general but um, I've mentioned um, April here and there about her uh, successes and about her uh, and her uh, achievements of late. Um, I think she's much stronger um, than that, and I think she I think she's a lot stronger now that now that things are starting to get on a roll and she's starting to speak up for herself because you know Sunday she. Um, she kind of opened, um, she kind of opened up a little bit in made sure, and I think she opened up a little bit today, uh, while we were talking about we did some downtime, she was, uh, and I was dividing, uh, stuff off the pallets, and she was in the ambient room, which is where we keep everything cool, um, so nothing goes out of temp, uh, it's, it's a little hard for things to go out of temp there, but, um, I, I actually told her oh, there's this stigma um around that she's um that she's uh too authoritative um bossy i told her very 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 plainly that she's informative and she's a teacher type she's a strict teacher type but um and she has to be that way and she's like well you know she was telling me like oh some guys don't be don't like to be told what to do, pushed around, blah, blah, blah. I told her if, I told her there's a, supposed to be a compromise. If people that we working together as a team, um, you know, you have to be able to compromise and work as a team. I'm able to do that because I don't mind um, listening to her and her um, teaching me things. I don't really see it as much as a teaching thing. I don't see it much of a, I don't see my, her much as a bossy, authoritative, or um, tyrannical type. I see her more as a strict teaching, informative type. She was very passionate about what she does, and she does it very well. And it, it is very smart of me to recognize that experience that she has in retail. I She has experience in retail since 2005. I have retail business while well, grocery retail since 2007 um so two years less 
but I have six years, six plus years of psychology and and such in school and everything. So I have, and plus, but to be honest, I think her attention to detail is superhuman. And if it weren't for her, uh, if it weren't for her case of uh, OCD, I don't think she would be as attentive as she would be. So I think she's on another level. It doesn't matter that she doesn't have any schooling. She's just there on another level. Um, and I think, and I told her, I said, I, I, I don't mind listening to, I don't mind listening to you, and I don't mind you, uh, um, <laughs> I told her, I don't mind you ordering me around a little bit, because I actually feel like I'm motivated to do better. So, um, I do that, I'm doing that to be fair, because I don't want to be at the know-it-all bossy type, because, you know, because with me, I kind of like to learn things, take things apart, and... Uh, do things even if it's over and over and over again so and she does the same thing so um so we're it's a reason why we have a good good synergy and everything and um and she doesn't mind calling me out on little things so you got to be able to take a little bit of a hit when this happens and I don't mind it because I'm the learning type so if it doesn't affect me it doesn't pull my ego I don't get I don't get I don't get enraged over it, which I don't because I'm calm. Calm as a cute cool as a cucumber anyway. Um so I I told her I don't know what, what people I said, I think you're I think you're informative, I think you're a good teacher, you're a very strict teacher. But I don't I don't know where people get this policy authoritative type. Um I said it's just a bunch of baloney and I think it's I think it I think that's just a myth. That people toss around and I, I wouldn't pay attention to it. And she goes, and she goes, yeah, but she goes, yeah, but most guys don't like to, yeah, but most guys in, in the business don't like to be tossed around. I'm like, it takes a certain, I said, it takes a certain one. Um, <laughs> I told her it takes a certain one to um, sort of allow that to happen. Um, uh, I... I view her, I, her, her intelligence is, and her way of thinking is almost superhuman. I'm just, I mean, I have a photograph of her. I mean, I'm able to crunch details, but, um, but she brings it to a whole nother level and, and, and it's great to learn from something like, somebody like that because you can always learn the finer details and that's what she's good at and I don't mind it and I'm, and it's knowledge that I can use not just in market, but also to help other people and stuff. So it's just not to, not just to figure out if food's out of code. It's also to become better at helping other people because she does that. Um, I think she has a very compassionate. I think she's, I think she's very compassionate though at uh, and everything. I she may have that passionate, very, very, very strong. Um, attitude in you know some it's it's some over it's some for some people it's overpowered for me I, it's kind of a norm because um i'm just used to i'm just used to being motivated by other people so and um i don't mind a strong lady so um help motivate me so i think it's kind of an advantage to just sit back and and let that happen i mean i can learn a lot from it it I mean, I teach her things and she teaches me things. So it's not like it's a one-sided affair between the both of us. So I think each other's learning from the other one. And I think I'm becoming stronger and she's becoming stronger. And I'm learning what I have to improve on. And I, she learns what she has to improve on. I keep, keep strengthening. I have to, and stuff I have to keep on strengthening. So um, I think she's an amazing human being. And she'll be, and it'll be a good friendship to have well into the future so um and uh she's quite funny too so um i wouldn't miss that for the world um um so i think so i think she's in and i can see a little and as i said i can see a little influences here and there like at the end of the day when she was doing um the rest of the palette the rest of the palette before she left she actually didn't take a 15 she actually didn't take a 15 for 4 30 415, 4, 4, 4, 30. Like she usually does. She actually 
stayed the whole time. She actually didn't take a break. That's something I do. And she's seen me do that. So yeah. So yeah, I can I can see the influences. So she'll uh so uh, she could say that she's not affected, but uh, she's she's learning off me. Um, <laughs> um, did everything, so I'm proud of that, and I she's proud of me for learning. Even though I make mistakes, and you know she'll make mistakes. We're both human beings, so it's an amazing thing, and she's doing really good. Um, the only problem is we need more people like me and her in the section. Um, me, her, and another guy, and one of our, one of our quasi team leads. Um, we need, we need more than four, four or five good people. We need like eight. So, um, so yeah. Um, the section's probably gonna grow. Um, probably gonna grow before I leave and everything. So, um, so yeah, I think everything's good. Um, life is good. Um, everything's all hunky dory, so I think it's all great. Um, if you guys see I'm sweating, it's because I'm in an air conditioned room. My dad doesn't have the air conditioning on because, um, we have the pool outside and we can go out in that. And plus, my room's a little colder than this. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, sorry I didn't record, but I will make it up for a long one today. Uh, as usual, everybody. Long live America, God bless America. Long live democracy. Long live the this great nation. Long live our freedom and um, long, uh, long live and pray that the um, that our liberty stay strong and our freedom stay strong and pray for my grandparents' spirits. Pray for both of them. Also pray for, for Tom, Megan, and April, all my supporters and everything and all my viewers, all my commenters, you know who you are. Um, Mike Camo here for another vlog here on day or entry 971. Uh, here on the 10th of July, 2019. I'm your most Mike Camo here for another Mike Camo's vlog corner. Your corner, your, well, my corner, well, our corner of YouTube. I'll see you guys later and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I'm coming out five tomorrow, so. Probably shoot one later at night. So peace.